Hello everybody and welcome back to Feed the Beast Monster on the FTB server. I have learned a few things today. If you're going to make heat resistant glass, you're going to need a 4x4 vat. And you're going to need, I believe it looks like, um, two limestone and two aluminum nuggets. It, or maybe more. I don't know. But it's definitely not one limestone and one nugget. <laughs> oh, I did end up making a quantum suit chest and leggings and longfall boots. Utterly disappointed with uh, the quantum suit. So anyway, I got a few other things to get ready here, and I'll be back with you. All right, guys, welcome back here. Um, we're still at the airship base. <laughs> Uh, and you can see here, I've got something going on. Uh, what the heck is this you're saying? <laughs> uh, it's just some quartz to hold back the water and some pearls and some coral rock underneath it. Um, I did find out that if you place like a pearl oyster on top of, say, in a transfer node and then you place one next to it, it'll pop it off. So I'm assuming now, since the update, um, they have to be on something natural, I'm assuming. <laughs> but anyway, the transfer pipe works great. Um, it placed all the sand in there for me, which is awesome. Awesome. And it's raining. Oh, let me turn my particles off here. There we go. Nobody wants to see that. I have a... Enhanced blue crystal pendant for night vision since I don't have the power suit anymore. Uh, but anyway, getting back focus here. <laughs> um, I'm assuming I haven't I haven't had an oyster pop out of there yet, um, but I'm assuming this transfer node um, will pick up that pearl when it's fully developed. I really don't know for sure. I haven't gotten this far. I do know that transfer pipe placed the sand in there, so I'm assuming that you know the transfer node would work. Uh, chest down here to collect them with an import bus, and this is something handy here: uh, precision export bus. And I think you can put upgrades in these too. I'm not real sure. I think so. Um, that way, this precision export export bus can go on this piping and still act like you know what you want it to without having to have ten expensive precision export buses. So this is a cheaper way to do it. You could I'm assuming that you could do this all with applied energistics, um, but this is just cheaper. And it seems to be working pretty good, pretty good. So a couple of things here. Um, this vat with fish oil in it and these oak, lo oak logs I have put over a stack of fish in here and I do have some fish oil in here but I have yet to get <laughs> anyway oh um, I have yet to get um, any polished logs out of this I really don't want to break it and lose all that. I don't think there's a way. Oh, wait. Shift. Okay, shift and click. All right, let's try some sticks. There we go. Um, let's try planks first. Let's put those four in there. We'll come back in. I don't. Polished. I don't know how long that takes. I'm sure there's a. In the crafting recipe here. Um. Oh, there we go. 30 seconds? Wow. That's just too long. Okay, so another thing. I put some ingot casters here with these transfer nodes and a chest. Been making aluminum like crazy. I don't I don't know why. I just have the ore sitting in the ME system and I was testing things out so um, but lava feeding a tank my dog keeps walking around what's your problem huh don't wag your tail at me I swear 
Um, anyway, that's a fluid tank from Mariculture and feeding fed by lava from the crucibles over here. So that's how you're getting heat here. Now, let's talk about uh, what is that? Where did it go? Oh, right here. Rutile. Rutile needs a 1662 melting temperature, which apparently lava is capped out at 1500. Every other video that I have seen on this particular mod all shows any fuel source maxed out at 2000. So that's something to keep an eye for. This is at 2000 um, using blocks of coal. Okay, so automation of the rutile and titanium. I don't believe this is making a difference right now because uh, it's still making impure. Um, it's still making impure ingots. It ain't making pure titanium, which you need industrial freezer for that, and I'll get to that. Um, I have some hoppers here because that seemed to work the best as far as getting stuff where you want it. I can place the these two in here from the top without much of an issue. It's when you start placing the cold blocks of coal in at the bottom and I thought a hopper would help but it doesn't really. Like if I took this out the hopper is going to fill that full of coal. So if I took this out the hopper is going to fill that full of coal. So it's really not <laughs> getting this on there, there must be like a specific side maybe a specific side maybe you have to feed the, the coal in from the bottom but I use the lava to keep it up as you know to 1500 and, and then fed it to coal but now that we're at temperature I'm, you might be able to feed the solid fuel from underneath to get it to go where it needs to go um, but as it sits this is about as good as I can come up with um, the rutile of course wasn't going in here so um, your or items that you want to smelt down or melt down don't have much of an issue with getting those where they need to go it's just the coal. So that takes care of that. Um, you should be making more. Oh wait, maybe just harvested some. But anyway, this has been working pretty efficiently right here. I did make a, a little bit of uh, golden silk that you can put gold in here, melt it down, and piped it, of course, underneath the floor. I don't know if you guys need to see that or not, but you can do that you know how to pipe stuff around <laughs> um, so I got that pipe down and around and underneath the floor and going into this vat have I gotten any no I haven't gotten any polished planks yet so let's go with oh, not buttons let's try sticks let's see if we can get any polished sticks because I what oh Oh, okay, oh, that's the message you get from you check a, a claim area, you check it with a stick. So let's check it with sticks here and see if we have enough oil to polish those sticks. I don't know if that's the problem or what. I managed to put electric furnace up here just to have one handy in case I needed to smelt some stuff up real quick. Um, everything's working great here. I do believe that you still have to break those, um, but I don't know. Yep, everything's still working like mad. It's made as much lava as it can, and I'm really not using a whole lot at this point. So let's check back on. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so we got some polished sticks. We just can't make planks. What do you need to? Okay, so the only reason you need planks is to make sticks. And the only reason you need logs is to... Yeah. So I guess you just have to do it with sticks alone. Which is kind of... Which kind of sucks. And then you, you gotta automate 
breaking it breaking the sticks down and then placing in here which it can be done let's check see if we got any no I, I don't know if they've all grown or here let's break this for now so we can tell if we got any in the chest oh dang it okay so what I want to do here is go over um, exactly how I set this up I'm going to remove this one away from that wall and you go away I hate those things man that's a boundary marker for the claim um, okay so here I, I just like to use the coral rock because it's from the same mod that's all that's the only reason let's grab some dirt dirty 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 put an E on the end of it makes it sound French dirty <laughs> um, we're gonna need some glass and uh, for the other one I use vibrant quartz glass which I can make a little some more of that why not you know um, then we're gonna need these nodes there we go and some pipe Uh oh ah uh, yeah come on system hang in there with me nope didn't want to do it sometimes it unlinks itself from the uh, parent back at the base not a big deal so if you place this dirt here like this and pop these on it's much easier because if you try to um, pop this on when, when the oyster's sitting here it like wants to go on top of it and of course when it blocks out the water it pops it off it's, I, guess, I guess that's what I want to say um, it has to have a, some sort of water above the, the oyster like I have over there okay so that takes care oh ooh, hello that takes care of that um, let's run one out and down to here and we need a chest for this one like that perfect okay um, let's do another layer of dirt on top of that dear Tay <laughs> I'm just, I'm assuming you guys know what the hell I'm talking about anyway <laughs> You, I don't know if you guys seen the movie Joe Dirt, but it's one of my all-time favorites. And the only reason I put this dirt here is just to help um, lay everything out, really. Come on. Oh, yeah, I need some more. Glass, glass, glass. Quartz glass. That's not really going to do it and dang it what's oh glowstone there we go that'll get us a few more I got us eight okay boom yeah we got enough glass now uh oh this one there we go okay so <laughs> nothing like a good shovel you noticed that I can walk up these two without jumping. It's kind of annoying, really, but um, we'll get into that. And I did some testing, and I'll show you how I did that. But probably in the next episode, um, it has to do with these pearls here. Have we got any? Hey, look, we got one. Okay, great. So the system is working perfectly. That is awesome. All right, so we need a bucket, bucket, bucket. Who's got the bucket? Not you. I don't want that bucket. That was dirty. And on the water, I can't remember water reservoir. Um, this is just basically, to me, like a portable infinite spring water. Pretty handy, so you don't have to, you know drag a 4x4 four four water cube with you everywhere you go and there we go 
fill that baby up. Uh oh, we got a mess on our hands. <laughs> ah no, that's all right. Uh oh, I put my oysters up. There we go, 52 of the oysters. I've been roaming around a little bit, trying to find some. And start popping those bad boys in there. Boom. Should have got rid of all of our water issues. Yeah. Good. Did I grab the ME cable? No. I'm <laughs> washing torches away. Oops, wrong one. ME cable. And we're going to need a precision export. Which, for some reason, never likes to craft in my ME system. I don't know why. It'll get stuck here at some point. I'll have to stop it a couple times. Uh, let's, anyway, let's pop these out here. Oh, no. That, oh, no. Ah. <laughs> Caught up to it. Ah. There we go. <laughs> I'm still getting a hang of this quantum suit jetpack thingy. Ah, get get off there. See what I'm saying? That that step up enchant is kind of kind of a pain in the butt, really. It's not that helpful at all. Oh, I could have just went right to here. There we go. What would we do without an ME system? Man, I use this for everything. Um I hate that though okay so let's check on the and it's missing fir wood hmm hmm let's put that back in the system that should fix that up certus quartz dust See, it, it's just like it stops dead at, at certain points. Let's cancel it off. And precision export. And it fires back up. Okay, good. So it's done. There we go this one in here like that the basic import uh oh need to flip that like that connect for me please there we go why aren't you connecting hmm did this one over here connect I thought it did oh that's right that's right that's right that's right I need I need you oh hello I need this guy here there we go now we got it going that that you're gonna bug me come here <laughs> all right so let's set this one to sand do I have any extra laying around craft some real quick give me one give me one no nope. there we go I was like just one piece of sand please <laughs> ah that step up thing is gonna have to go we're gonna put this one in here leave it always active move single items and craft and bloop. <laughs> well, that was going to be faster than that, but bloop, there we go. So, this is how I found to be the simplest and sort of the cheapest. Of course, you can change, you know, vibrant, some of this material out. Um, this way, you're using the applied energistic, applied energistic system to um, always craft the sand for me. 
and using these transfer nodes and transfer pipe sort of a cheap version of 20 you know export buses and the same way over here cheap 20 import buses so that takes care of the pearl automation all we need to do is sit back and reap the rewards although this is gonna be slow I have heard a rumor that you can put these let's see let's type this in before I say something wrong <laughs> pearl blocks um, put them under the oyster and supposedly you can fine-tune what color that pearl is gonna be I have yet to test that out so I really don't know um, but that's something you guys can test out and get back with me and leave a post in the comments so I can so I'll know for sure um, but that's gonna do it for this episode guys that this has been this this mod is extremely frustrating um, there is so little information out there and the information that is out there is just broken as can be <laughs> Um, the books that used to come with this Mariculture mod have disappeared. I mean, I even had some in the Emmy system, and when we updated, they disappeared from there. So, there's really no way to craft it to get your information anymore. And, of course, this is the Monster Mod Pack, so keep that in mind. Um, I, I don't know. We, I, it seriously needs to be looked at and seriously needs to be updated and fixed. Um, have we got another polished stick yet? We've gotten one polished stick since we put those in there. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, this is an extremely frustrated SI Outdoors, and thanks for watching. Um, yeah. Log off now, then. <laughs> Peace out, guys.